education is all encompassing, right? And there is a need for partnership between the public and the private sector in order to move education in the 21st century forward. We want to make it as simplistic as possible by starting with the color of water. Because I'm sure they've never seen blue water before. So we have to start from there. We want a situation where we'll be taking our children for a discussion so that all this theory, they will see the practical aspect of it. And that will help them to understand what we are talking better. It's important that for the girls to be given a lot more options to express themselves in the way they can. So today is the landmark event in the history of education, especially in Lagos State, because we are beginning to expose them to learn about the sea world, the aquatic world, and how these children can begin to channel their careers and channel their pathways into maybe committing fully to develop our sea space in Lagos. You know Lagos especially has more water mass than land mass. We're starting from the grassroots because they are the grassroots. So you must speak balance of the grassroots to them. So this is not the beginning and it's not going to end here. We are going to continue with as many NGOs that are coming on board to educate our children more. And we are going to engage all the government agencies that will have something similar nature to develop our children.
Me and I, we are classmates today. We are classmates. Who is the primary side here? And the primary side. Who is the primary seat? Juice, after juice, we will 
until the rain began to change and came. And I now discovered that, wow. So I was sitting on big money then. And I said, okay. Then, that was in 2007 when I contested for House of Prayers. And I said, what I did not know when I was growing up, I found them to this generation. They must not miss it. They were all important. Aside from physical being, and you know God loves human beings. That was why He gave us the story of the Lord's Ark. The first time somebody had a ship, it was God. The Ark was the ship. So God gave us water for the benefit of. The totality of mankind. And now, that water has gone to the place level. They now call it international trade. For as long as there's water in that nation, there has to be international trade. So, today, we're going to tell you about careers that you can. No. Brought you to be a one time. There is no matter you have or not that you don't have a disease. If you want to be a lawyer, you have one time there. If you want to be an engineer, oh, you have a marine engineer, you have a natural 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 engineer. Yes. 
serious of them. Yes, and they pay me up front. Because it's a positive money for the next step. And how I want my own to write as our own report to the ministry. Thank God, some from the ministries representing social half of the this is a different side of the We should not have gone extortion. We have not swore that. Last one should be able to do my time and patience for these children. They should do my time to do for them. They should take them to the final food. Such a way, there is a um, holy cross. Is holy cross here? Yeah? Okay, the teacher. Okay, okay. The children who conducted my time. Except for petition by new one. Public and private schools in Lagos and Lagos. Organized by new one. And Holy Cross came to church. And you see, that is part of what we are saying. It has to be more of an exposure. It is, and these children are brilliant. I can give that to you. When Dr. Ayodele was the PS student in the Tiosa, in 2020, we had the nationwide maritime way as students came first. And they were once our best day. Till today, the Labour State Etiosa. I don't know about the result of this year. They were not amongst our best day this year. But no one could be. But you see, it has to do with the dedication of whosoever is at the end of our best. We had to challenge last one. Right to them, let them start my back. Just for reason for these children. For them to know what is that. We cannot be talking about bread economy. When they want to pay brown waters. So, where do we start from? So, on this note, you have to run up because I had started a while ago. I was still, you were in a meeting. But, uh, be that as it may, you still tell me a bit. The chairman was supposed to give a good word message for the students. So, if you still have it, madam, because some are not just in the air that you are the one representing him today. So, you're welcome. Yeah. So, They are very, very special. 
The clothes you wear, the shoe you wear, your socks, your cap is from where? The clothes you wear is from where? Market. Which market? Who else? Which market? They got safe markets. Okay, did anyone know how the material gets to Lagos safe markets? Did anyone know how the material gets to Lagos safe markets? They ship to the market in Lagos safe market in Gago. You are for me. Yes. I'm tired. This gentleman deserves my credit. You see the clothes, the shoe. Your name. 
for it. There's no spirit killing people in the water. There's no bad day in the water. There's no seasickness. Once you can apply the rule, follow the safety rule, your vessel, your boat, any means of transportation you put on the sea, we go and come back safely. Do you understand? Parents, teachers, amateurizer, please, don't discourage our students. Anyone who chooses this career, encourage them. Don't tell them, I don't want you to go to the sea, I don't want you to near the water. There's nothing killing people there. Even people who go on the road and when they don't obey the rules, they have accident. And the same thing that apply to the road also apply to the sea. Please encourage them more. Another side. Okay, you can see we have inland prairies like uh, from Ikorodu, all this at the park, the way they are moving our uh, containers. Next slide. Okay, this is blue economy. It's talking about sustainability used by ocean resources for money. How you can use ocean resources to get a rich. Do you know that you doing a fish farming in a particular water body? You are in Bologna. In fact, I made a mistake. You are not in Bologna, you are in Bologna. You can remain a fish in a particular river close to your house or in your village where you make money. People will come and buy lots of fish in store. Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Next slide. Okay, look at people going on tourism to enjoy themselves. We have a lot of people who work here, who makes their tourism enjoyable. You can choose a career in this area and you earn in dollars. Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Okay, mom. Waste management. Do you know that this plastic that you take the water inside and you just drop it somewhere? Do you know that there are people who choose that area, recycle, reuse, waste to wells? If you pick much of this plastic, there's a designated center that the government of the state have assigned to people. That when you take it there, they will weigh it. And after weighing it, if it is 20 kg, they will tell you maybe the kg is 1000 naira. After you weigh the 20 kg, that's about 5000 naira. Just for you. You are not the one who put the plastic or grab the water. No, but that you pick it to clean the environment. Do you understand? So there are so many job opportunities. In the Atlantic environment, the climate change. We have, for example, when there is rainfall, flood will come. It will run and flood drainage. And before you know it, the water will not be able to move. And that water will start coming into your mouth. People from Atlantic, you fell out to. I'm sure you are experiencing it. You start, that was a, when you change your plastic on the floor, it will not the drainage. And those of that are not the drainage. There's something they call marine meters. When you get to secondary school, you have a better understanding. When you throw this there, it will go and stop in the aquatic organism. For example, fish, sea turtle, the diasama, we have Delta State, we have the road, and we have our own special neighbors there. We have the road, or and rivers. So you see, if you are from this Eastern State, and you are not thinking of career in maritime sector. You are missing out. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Next slide. Okay. Lagos State. And that's the with Lagos. But my dad don't joke with it too. She doesn't know. She likes too much publicity about Lagos. You see, in Lagos State, we have many creeks. That they are natural streams. And a lot of people don't know. I would like to talk about three things on this grid. One, pollution. Do you realize that it is you and I who pollute 
our prayers. When you are coming from school, you will buy pop, you will buy chin chin. After that, you throw it into the water or you drop it carelessly. Do you know where the iron on the paper is going to? Can anyone tell me? Come, come. Come. Pass, pass. The line of the front callus, the junior way it goes to, let's put the camera. You see? Is it the seat directly? No, the river. From the river to where? You see? A wall. And it takes the animal and the sea. Clap for her. The river. After the river.
for you not to throw away all these plastics because you don't know the chemicals that they were made out of. So many things are in the air now that causes climate change and the world, the global village, is trying to have a solution. But we're not there yet. But we, at our level, we have to know what to throw, where to throw, and why not to throw. And that is why you have this waste management, waste to wealth. All these plastics, some people have decided to make Christmas trees out of it. We don't throw it away. That is all I have to say. Please, you have to be careful of where you throw and why you must not throw. Very important. Do you have any questions? We have five minutes for you and then. Yes, yes.
to the knowledge arising of our children and those of us that are participants at today's program. I was uh, curious to know the team for this year's commemoration of the World Maritime Day. And I saw that it has an element of technology, new technology, and uh, to support is it greener, uh, greener, shipping. greener shipping. And one of the key components of that team was to engage in partnership with other relevant stakeholders as a way of trying to further escalate the importance of maritime education. And I think that is what we are doing here today. So I also want to appreciate you for bringing that to us at Lagos State Universal Basic Education. Thank you, sir. Having said that, you have also challenged the thought of our children, which shows that catching them young is the best approach to molding children's life. Maybe the children are not aware that the head surface, you can Google that, is covered, 71% of the head surface is covered with water. And that means that you have every opportunity to be a maritime dweller, if that word is allowed. Because that it has already created a ready-made career for you in the near future. So I want to charge you, you have really learned a great deal. And I've also learned too, as adults. But there is something I observed. You were asked to bring out your pens and paper to do some jottings. I saw that a lot of you did not take to that advice. And I will ask one question that one of you came to ask the other time that has been answered. So I want to know how many of you actually got to the meaning of that. Because these are some of the things you may likely call up, come across in your current affairs. And that is last one. Children busy, no. Children busy, and I have a prize for that. Last one. Last one. What does the abbreviation? You know, last one is an acronym, and it means something in full. So, what does last one mean? Okay, you go. I saw your hand. Nigeria, then 
Cops. P O R T. Cops, like authority. Nigerian Court Authority. Please, ma. Please, ma. We like to talk like to us for two minutes, ma. Thank you very much. Uh, I want to appreciate um, the organizer of this program. You are the one who I want to appreciate the resource personnel. She has, in fact, like, I should go back to school. I sincerely appreciate this. This is not well, well done. And to our Googles, you are blessed to have people like this. I just pray that when you get you, it's all what you are. The talk to them, please go and Go through them. You don't have to tell where God is taking you to. Like she said, we have uh, fine doctors, we have engineers, and stuff like that. I pray God will guide you. Thank you so much. And to our teachers, you are always here for us. We really appreciate and we love you. Well done. The Almighty God will reward you. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is our last question. I want you to say thank you to everybody. My children, God bless you. My teachers, God bless you. Everybody, God bless you. It's not easy to do all this. I thank God that we are alive to bless it. And I pray that God will grant us more successes in Jesus' name. And the thing of my eye, I call you to answer. Go to the answer to God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you.
is full of many opportunities mm. You just need a touch of life today Cause if you wanna make a change yeah, You need to rise on your feet and take a step today About the difference you make in people's life Touching lives Touching lives Putting smiles to people's faces Reaching out to the needed Touching lives Touching lives Spread yeah. the word for the people For your future and your dreams yeah. Touching lives All you need to make it today With our hands together We can make it real To the worst and the pain The good and the bad You just have to believe We can get to the top You've got all you need To make it today With our hands together We can make it real To the worst and the pain The good and the bad You just have to believe We can get to the top again The yeah. is more about the difference We're making people's life Touching life Reaching out to the needed Touching lives Touching lives Spread the word for the people For your future and your dreams Touching lives My name is Dr. Toin Sami Mehalu and I'm the lead consultant and founder at Core Skills Transformational Academy Limited, Lagos, Nigeria I'm an author 13 books, I'm an education consultant, part excellence, mentoring, leadership, as well as a business consultant. Okay, so we're here today um, to witness Lagos State's um, maritime education. What you do at your place, the core skills, how do we marry this? Yes, so excitingly, education is all encompassing, right? And there is a need for partnership between the public and the private sector in order to move education in the 21st century forward, especially in our climate, but most particularly in our nation, Nigeria, and then specifically in Lagos State. So today's event is a pilot on the three bodies coming together, that is the maritime sector, the education sector, as well as the state government in ensuring that our children are exposed to knowledge about maritime education on time. Now, the truth is, what exactly is education? Education is about transformation of lives, and it's about helping our children to begin to get exposed to not just the mainstream of teaching and learning of the normal subjects, but as well as innovative tech, maritime, social aspects of life and all, 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 all around learning. And so that's what we've come to do here today. I want to congratulate the Honorable uh, Lauye King as, as well as um, the main four spearhead, Mrs. Olaito Williams, when it comes to maritime education in Lagos. I really want to congratulate them because they are doing something unique, something exceptional, not to expose our children, especially the children in year five, and year six into what maritime education is and seeing how especially the girl child you know maritime is is is, is a sector that is filled with most of the male gender not to say that we are being discriminated here but then the girl child it's important that for the girl child to be given a lot more options to express themselves in the way they can so today is um, is a landmark event in the history of education especially in Lagos state because we are begin to expose them to learn about the, those, the sea world, the aquatic world, and how those children can begin to channel their careers and channel their pathways into maybe um, committing fully to develop our sea space in Lagos. You know Lagos especially has 
more land water mass than land mass. So it is it is, it is a welcome idea to begin to see how the student can be rightly positioned in ensuring that they contribute their roles as digital natives into ensuring that our maritime sector blooms in the states. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Lasso Bev is one of the offices in the 36 states of the Federation that handles primary schools. So in the wisdom of the current chairman, who was a two-time House of Assembly member in charge of education, he called me and he said, I'm from a maritime domain. You handle maritime. Please, I want the children to know about maritime studies. And I said, well, I'll give it to you. But he said, I said, well, I prefer just one local government, which is our local government. He said the mileage will not go far, but that he will want it throughout the state. Number one, he comes from a coastal community, so he knows the importance of maritime. Number two, he's in education. And he will want the upcoming generation to know about maritime, especially now that um, the global concept is getting towards 2030 new economy. So if you're in a coastal community and your upcoming generation who are supposed to be the direct beneficiaries don't know about it, then you haven't started the maritime business. So I said, okay, fine. It's a challenge. I've never done primary school before, but we'll help these children grow for them to know. Okay. So what are our expectations here today? What do you have lined up? Well, you know, children, you have to do something that will attract them. And that is why we want to make it as simplistic as possible by starting with the color of water. Because I'm sure they've never seen blue water before. So we have to start from there. So we're starting from the grassroots because they are the grassroots. So you must speak the balance of the grassroots to them. Mind you, they are not on the advantaged side of going abroad. So we must make it as simplistic as possible. And that is what we intend to give to them as takeaway. Do we hope to see this event recall? That depends on the Lagos state to bed. If they want it on a regular basis, they'll always get it. My name is Sherifa Tabio Noade Doing. I'm the permanent board member in charge of co curricular activities, Lagos Sudeb, and I'm standing in for the uh, executive chairman, Honorable Abala Uyepi, who could not make it to the program because of other engagements. Okay, um, today, this is Holy Day to mark the International Maritime Day, and it's the first time we're finding Lagos State engage um, primary schools, pupils, even the educational sector generally on maritime education. What informs this? Well, let me just correct that. This is not the first time we are engaging our pupils uh, in what has to do with uh, maritime or water. They are already in a partnership with the uh, last one and they have been having some programs with our pupils. So we even celebrated it last year. We celebrated this uh, a year ago, two years ago. So it's not really new to us. But we have not really uh, gone deeper to what we are aiming you know, to have. We want a situation where we'll be taking our children for excursion so that all this uh, uh, theory, they will see the practical aspect of it. And that will help them to understand what we are talking better. You know children, they, they love practicals. And whatever they do with their hands, whatever you engage them with, we stay with them for a very long time. Unlike just writing in the classroom, where it is only when they open their notes, they understand. They may not even understand. But when they engage themselves in the practical aspect, what they do with their hands, uh, go a long way to stay with them. So this is not the beginning and it's not going to end here. We are going to continue with as many NGOs that are coming on board to educate our children more. 
and we are going to engage all the government agencies that we have something uh, of, of similar nature to develop our children so that from it, who knows, they can even get their own life, uh, a job, life professions from there. So it's really good. And personally, I always believe in catching them young. Whatever you want to do, start with the kids, start with the children. You will not be surprised that they will even be the one correcting their parents at home. So they are, they are, it's a good investment on the side of the of Mr. Governor, on the side of Suburb, and on the side of the NGO that is putting this together. And we look forward for more. Thank okay, you. thank you, ma'am. Commendably, um, Lagos State has added aquaculture to its academic curriculum. But two issues I can I consider very top front corner were also raised here today, and that's maritime tourism, tourism and climate change issues. You know, I would like to know how moving forward um, Subek would want to engage on this. Well, uh, it's a good development and the uh, farmers don't go hungry. We all know that. I will also refer to my belief that you catch them young. You know, uh, it's good to mold them at this early stage uh, of their life. You know, when you teach them practical farming, and I tell you, as I stand there, I studied agric engineering and I major in post harvest technology. So I know what I'm talking about. And when you start that area, that aspect of life with children, they will go to love it. Everybody will not be looking for white collar job. Even in your farm, you can develop your office there that if you want to put on suits, you can put on suits. You can develop your office there and put on AC. So after the farm work, you go there, you relax, you strategize, you, you know, you think outside the box. So it's not really something we don't want. It's something we have been looking forward to. And about the climate change, as I told you uh, earlier, even this year, we celebrated it here and we launched Climate Change Club in our school. And we made uh, ambassadors out of the pupils. We chose ambassadors to as I said, because on our co-curricular activities day, we have so many clubs. And funny enough, when they understand what this thing is all about, you know, they, they themselves develop interest in the, to be part of the uh, climate change club. So everything that has to do with climate change, we have started teaching them, and we are not going to stop. Uh, it's, a global, uh, it's a global issue. It's a global issue. So Nigeria is not lacking behind, and Lagos is not lacking behind. Education is all encompassing, right? And there is a need for partnership between the public and the private sector in order to move education in the 21st century forward. We want to make it as simplistic as possible by starting with the color of water. Because I'm sure they've never seen blue water before. So we have to start from there. We want a situation where we'll be taking our children for discussion so that all this theory, they will see the practical aspect of it. And that will help them to understand what we are talking Better. It's important that for the girl child to be given a lot more options to express themselves in the way they can. So today is a landmark event in the history of education, especially in Lagos State, because we are beginning to expose them to learn about the sea world, the aquatic world, and how these children can begin to channel their careers and channel their pathways into maybe committing fully to develop our sea space in Lagos. You know Lagos especially has more water mass than land mass. We're starting from the grassroots because they are the grassroots. So you must speak balance of the grassroots to them. So this is not the beginning and it's not going to end here. We are going to continue with as many NGOs that are coming on board to educate our children more. And we are going to engage all the government agencies that will have something similar nature to develop our children.